Hi everyone, CD here. Today, I'm going to review Dark Souls 3, the fourth installment in the overrated and underselling series. Is it worth playing this one? Probably not, but here's the review. This cutscene is the story, and it's pretty incoherent. They try to build upon it with little notes everywhere, like this one and this one, but it really amounts to nothing. This one even brings the story to a giant halt, but it seems that whatever the story was supposed to be, it involves death and coffins, so this might be hitting the necrophilia niche that developers have yet to appease. The gameplay is weird. You have to beat things to death with like bats and such, and there are no guns in the whole game. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to defeat enemies quickly and keep moving without them. And this seems to be a big problem with all games developed in Japan, as they've yet to learn that the only way to interact within 3D space and video games is to use guns. And I really believe that if they don't change, they're going to all fail. I can only think of one company that has conformed, and that game was a huge success, just like the company itself. They also added in Batman detective missions where you have to piece together how a person died, like this guy, who just rolled too much and then he died from vertigo. It adds very little to the game since it lacks guns. I heard a lot about how hard this series is, but watch how quick I killed this guy, and then this one. Then I killed two of them. This guy has some sort of fire shooter and I still win. It seems the people that can't play these games because they think they are too hard are those organic, loving, millennial liberals with low constitutions. Another thing people say about these games are the boss battles are intense, amazing, and offer a feeling of accomplishment when defeated. They're okay. Here's the first boss battle. The guy is definitely imposing, but pretty much a pushover. If this is all it takes to feel accomplished, I have to assume these are just people that play Crucible full time on Destiny. You're probably wondering why this video only showcases one area. Well that's because the game is ridiculously short maybe 15 minutes? I got to this area and there's nowhere to go. I defeated the final boss, who put up no fight, she didn't even try, and I didn't even get an ending. So this was basically a waste of time and $60. I know. What is so is this game worth it? No guns, easy bosses, 15 minutes, and did I mention no guns? What do you think? 15.